Hey, welcome back to some of the screencasts I'm putting together around Kafka Streams. In this one, we're going to talk about Kafka Streams transformations. This should seem pretty familiar to you if you are coming from Spark or if you have some functional programming background like Scala. Um, what you'll see in this screencast is me just giving you an overview of the code itself and how to run it because this screencast is meant to accompany me easy for me to say. Um, it's meant to accompany um, a written tutorial. What you're looking at here is IntelliJ. The implementation is in Kafka Streams Transformations, which is under source main Scala Com, super glue eventually here in Kafka Stream Transformations. The way we run all these various examples, if I, if I dig in here a little bit, you'll see that each one of the transformations starts with a K stream. Um, name in the function. This is an example of filter. Here's an example of flat map. Again, the written instructions cover all the implementation. The way we run that is coming over here to our spec class, which just runs Scala tests against all the various implementations. So here's the one running against filter, flat map, etc. I assume you know how to in, in, um, actually import this into IntelliJ. And maybe let me take a minute to show you what this is. All the source code is out here under my repo T McGrath at Kafka Streams up here as well. So you can come over here and either clone or download a zip. And then you can import it into IntelliJ. Wherever you're watching this video, I have a ton of other videos about importing Scala projects into IntelliJ. So just look for it wherever you're watching it. Or you can leave me a comment and I'll point you to it as well. Whatever is easiest for you. So back to the source code example. There's a couple of different ways you can run it. You can right click on this spec class and hit run. We'll see it compile down here at the bottom. And then we'll run through the test. As the time that I'm running this screencast or recording it, all the tests are passing. So you can see that they're all passing here. You can also put in breakpoints if you want during either the implementation here or the test themselves. So for example, we could put a breakpoint here and then run it in debug mode and we'll rerun these tests, but we'll stop as expected at the breakpoint where you can do some inspections if you want and then continue on. So that's it. I just wanted to give you a little bit of context, a little bit of flavor around um, some of these Kafka streams transformations. As I mentioned in the tutorial, it's all pretty much stateless transformations. I hope to cover more stateful aggregations and windows and that sort of thing in a later screencast and tutorial. I've also got one already out there for join. So hopefully this helps. Hopefully you found this uh, worthwhile. And let me know if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for improvements. Thanks.